I really didn't want to have to make a video like this, but I feel like it is a topic that I should address, as a lot of people seem to be thinking it's becoming a lot more rampant within the age regression communities, and that is drama and discourse. Now, the reason I'm filming this video today instead of the one that I planned is because I just got dragged into some. I'm not going to give specifics on what it was about or who did what because that's not the kind of life I live, but I was just dragged into some for something that I had no knowledge of and something that wasn't my fault, and yet I'm being blamed for it. And I feel like this situation is just an example of some things I've been seeing recently within the community itself. I'm not going to be the person who says that the community is toxic, because I don't think it is. I don't think anything is inherently toxic. However, even though I go to very, very great lengths to avoid seeing and engaging in any kind of drama or discourse. I block it on site, I block and mute the people who are doing it, I don't take part in it, I don't post call outs, I don't, I don't do anything like that because I just plain and simple don't want to be involved in it. I've been involved in it before without my consent obviously and it is not fun. Discourse and drama and hate videos is another reason why there are no comments active on this channel. I just have no legitimate reason to open myself up to that kind of feedback. If people want to give me constructive criticism or they want to say they enjoyed my video, they'll come to me. But giving an anonymous platform like a YouTube comment section is just dangerous and stupid and I ended up learning that the hard way. But I don't engage in drama, so when I get dragged into it, I get really upset, naturally. I already have so many things going on in my life, physically, mentally, emotionally. I legitimately cannot safely handle discourse on top of that. There's no reason for discourse. I really think that everybody should just mind their own business. If somebody's an adult, let them be an adult, let them do their thing. If they're not mixing things, whatever, cool, let life live. If it's a minor and kink, block them, you know, all that good stuff. But like, don't be posting call-outs, don't be spreading rumors, don't be gossiping about people, don't be posting screenshots. Even passively making a post without naming names is contributing to the discourse and drama and it's just, it's so unnecessary. So I'm begging you guys who are active in the age community online, please don't engage in this kind of behavior, please. It's not worth it to anyone. It's not going to make you feel better. It's not going to make the person you're talking about feel better. It's not going to make the community feel better. All it's going to do is cause harm. It's not worth it. It's really not worth it. We're all just here. We all just want to be babies and live our lives. And if someone's posting 100% safe for work content and is an age aggressor and doesn't cross tag and all of that, leave them alone like they're not they're not doing anything wrong and even with the minors and kink and stuff like I wouldn't even recommend reaching out to them I would just block them on site when you see them because engaging is dangerous engaging in this kind of behavior is beyond immature and I know we're all supposed to be babies here but like we're not biological children we understand and by biological children I mean like 10 and under. We understand right and wrong. We understand the difference. And it's so immature to be actively engaging in the wrong behavior when you know it's wrong. And it's so blatantly obvious that engaging in this kind of discourse and drama is wrong. It doesn't help anybody at all. All it does, it riles you up, it riles the other person up, it riles the community up. It's not worth it. Let's just all get along. If you don't like somebody, don't follow them. Soft block them. It doesn't really matter. Just don't be a bad person. <laughs> that's really all I wanted to talk about because it's something that's happening right now and I'm posting this video tomorrow. This is coming out on Friday. You're coming out Friday tomorrow and I'm filming this Thursday so <sighs> yeah. No, that's basically just what I wanted to say. I will be back at you with more actual regressed Riley content 
on Sunday. If you want to see more videos, hopefully this will be the only one like this ever. All the other ones will be good regression-y videos. But if you want to see those from me, you can subscribe to this channel if you are not already. Because I post over here, we're trying about three times a week, so we'll see how that goes. But if you would like to keep up with me day to day in between uploads, you can follow me over on Instagram, which is at crayons and pencils, or over on Twitter, which is at crayon kiddo. I love you guys a whole lot, and I hope you take this advice to heart, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.